Dear President Trump, I'm Troy Anderson, a Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist and best selling author of The Trump Code, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. Today is October 28th, just one week until Election Day. In a few days, the future of our nation will be decided. Mr. President, I am coming to you today with an urgent message that I believe is divinely appointed. You are called not just to lead politically, but to guide this nation in spiritual revival. The future of America is at a crossroads, and I believe that a national call to prayer, repentance, and fasting is the only way we will see true healing and restoration. In 2013, I had the incredible honor of interviewing the greatest evangelist of our time, perhaps of all time, Billy Graham. During that interview, he told me something that has stayed with me to this day. Billy Graham said, when God sent the prophet Jonah to Nineveh to warn them of impending judgment, the king and the people repented and God spared the city. I believe something similar could happen again today in America. His words profoundly resonated with me and I felt a deep responsibility to carry this message forward. For years, it has been my mission to amplify it so it reaches the hearts of the nation. I believe now is the pivotal moment for our nation. Just as God showed mercy to Nineveh, he can do the same thing for America if we repent and turn back to him. As the scripture says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their lamb. This scripture holds the key to America. Just as the king in Nineveh led his people to repentance after Jonah's warning, you too are positioned to lead America in turning back to God, seeking his mercy and forgiveness. This year, by a miracle of God, I was invited by Steve Strang, the publisher of Charisma House Frontline, one of the most profound prophetic voices in Christian media, to write the Trump Code. Strang leads Charisma Magazine and Charisma News, some of the most trusted outlets in Christian media for over 40 years, where I used to be executive editor. He has been one of your greatest supporters, having interviewed you and written books about your impact on America. The Trump Code explores how your lineage and destiny are intertwined with the destiny of America. The book has become a number one bestseller, and its heart is the question, is this America's Nineveh moment? Mr. President, we've teamed up with Charisma Media and with my co-authors Paul McGuire and Paul Bagley, and numerous other prominent faith leaders, including Reverend Kevin Jessup, co-founder of Return International, to launch the 40 Days to Save America campaign, a nationwide and global effort to call people to prayer, fasting, and repentance from September 26th to November 5th, Election Day. We are praying for our nation, Praying for you, for your family, your team, J.D. Vance and his family, and the newly joined general in God's army, Elon Musk. I've been sharing this message through many platforms, CBN, TBN, Daystar TV, Frank Speech, the Christian Post, His Glory TV, and countless other media outlets. God is moving. Faith leaders, churches, and ministries nationwide are joining us in 40 days of prayer, fasting, and repentance. And I believe God will change the course of our country and history. Mr. President, God's hand of protection is upon you, not only during the recent assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania, but throughout your life. If you reflect back, you will see God's divine intervention time and time again. This is no coincidence. It is part of God's plan for you, and I believe he has preserved you for such a time as this. One of my favorite quotes from my great-grandfather plus, Ode to Joy poet, playwright, and philosopher Frederick von Schiller is, There is no such thing as chance, and even the merest accident stings from the deepest source of destiny. In my book, Trumpocalypse, co-author of Paul McGuire, we emphasize the importance of national repentance, including an interview with our dear friend, Reverend Kevin Jessup. We wrote the White House Executive Summary, and in 2020, Kevin, joined by Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, led a powerful event on the National Mall where millions came together in person and via TV in a day of repentance and prayer. You issued a proclamation for a day of prayer and return on that day as we watched you and Marine One fly over the event while Rabbi Kahn delivered his message. You were the first president to issue such a proclamation for national prayer and repentance since Abraham Lincoln. I later learned that Billy Graham had asked every president from Dwight D. Eisenhower to George W. Bush to do this, but none did until you issued that proclamation. Now in 2024, we need that same cry for repentance, prayer, and fasting to rise up from this nation before it's too late. Mr. President, this is indeed America's net of a moment. I believe you are the leader God has chosen to guide us through this pivotal time. You are surrounded by millions who are praying for you, for your family, J.D. Vance, and for the future of our nation. We stand united in prayer, believing that God has a special plan for you in this country. Mr. President, today you're scheduled to speak at the National Advisory Faith Leaders Summit. 
If by chance this message reaches you in time, I pray that you will call for national repentance, prayer, and fasting. If it is not, I wholeheartedly pray you will issue this call before the election or after you announce as President of the United States. It will be a powerful either way. Whether today or in the coming days, I believe God is moving and His timing is always perfect. Nothing is impossible for God. Yesterday, my wife and I watched your campaign rally at Madison Square Garden in New York City, and we were inspired by the energy and passion of the event. One moment that particularly touched us was seeing a sweet interaction between you and your lovely wife, First Lady Melania Trump. It was such a genuine and heartwarming moment, and my wife just loved it. That kind of connection and support is a powerful reminder of what strong, grounded leadership looks like. Your leadership, Mr. President, as we've seen time and time again, reflects the strength, vision, and boldness needed to steer America forward. Your unfiltered reflections during the rally were yet another example of your unwavering commitment to this country. I can already feel the overwhelming excitement when it's announced that you are our president again. It will be a moment far greater than anything we've ever experienced, even more than the energy we felt during the rally. I can picture it now, hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of people from all around the world jumping with joy. My wife, our friends, and the ministries we serve with, none of us will be able to contain our excitement. We'll be crying out, praise God. Thank you, God. May God bless you, President Trump, and may God bless America and all who seek faith, freedom, and revival around the world.